The crypto market crash, the chaos continues today with all kinds of bad news rolling in. We're going to talk about that in this video. The mood today definitely has been one of those of we're all singing and moving around deck chairs on the Titanic as the whole gosh darn market just sinks and complete chaos reigns in crypto land. It's been definitely one of those crazy, crazy days today. Now, the news did come out that Binance is not going to be buying FTX. They said reports regarding mishandling of customer funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations. We've decided not to pursue the potential acquisition, which, you know, that put a lot of pressure on the market. As soon as that came out, markets started tanking big time. In fact, they started tanking just before that, which says to me some people probably got that announcement a little before it happened but markets did start tanking right around the time that we got that news coming out here that, uh, yeah, Binance is not going to save FTX. FTX is freaking done for here. The collapse of FTX, it's a big damn deal. And look, I've got a, a more detailed video coming for you later today in a few hours, depending on where you're at, but really breaking down this situation, how it got to be so damn bad. I mean, it's just, this is the Mt. Gox of 2022. The systemic nature of this collapse, the magnitude of the collapse of FTX is hard to understate. It is freaking massive, without a doubt. So this is a big deal, and this is why markets are tanking. There's lots of fear of contagion and how bad that contagion could possibly get. Also, just a heads up here, we have a huge Solana unlock coming up in just a few hours. 18 million Solana are going to get released into the market. That could get real ugly, real fast for Solana. FTX, Alameda, they're likely to be big um, recipients of that unlock. So potentially we could see a lot of Solana getting dumped into the market. Solana's already been getting basically slaughtered in this market. It's being dumped as a proxy to FTX because FTX is one of the biggest backers of the Solana token and the Solana ecosystem. It's already been slaughtered and this 18 million Solana release, this is like hundreds of millions of dollars of Solana. That could put a lot of sell pressure on to Solana. So do be careful if you're chasing the Solana falling knife here. Also, if you still have money sitting in FTX US, then WTF are you doing? Now, I'm not talking about FTX International. FTX International, the bigger exchange of the two, they have frozen withdrawals. You can't get your money out right now, okay? There was a short window when that was possible. You know, I warned you guys on Twitter. I warned you guys here on YouTube. I hope some people took that warning, got their funds off of the exchange. But FTX US, which is a separate entity, yes, it is a separate entity, and maybe everything's totally fine in FTX US, and the downfall of FTX will not affect FTX US, right? The US division of this company. But are you really willing to take that risk right now? I mean, just something to think about, right? If there's even a 0.01% chance that your withdrawals could be locked and that your funds could be stuck in some kind of legal litigation for years, are you willing to take that risk? Just something to think about, guys. Honestly, if you're on FTX US, just... Keep that in mind. Now, if you need a new exchange account, check out Bybit. It is a great exchange for buying and selling a huge range of cryptocurrencies. Zero, zero percent fees on all of their spot trading pairs. 10 million users on Bybit trading all the time. And you can get up to $4,450 in deposit bonuses by using the first link down below in the description. Now, Likely it's gonna be a few days before we really see the full fallout from the craziness with FTX. I know that the market's already down bad. We're gonna take a look at charts here in just a couple of seconds, but just understand that the contagion from this could take days to weeks to play out. How many venture capital firms, how many trading desks, how many market makers, other exchanges, on, on and on and on. How many people had exposure here? How many people's funds are trapped in FTX? We don't have answers to these questions yet. Maybe it's not going to be as bad as everybody thinks it is. Maybe it's going to be worse. We don't know. So be really, really careful here over the next few days. We're going to see a lot of volatility in the markets. We're going to see a lot of craziness in the markets. And we could still see a lot of big news stories coming out that could affect markets. Major venture capital firms could go under as a result of this. We could see massive sell-offs of their portfolio companies as a result. So please be careful. Now let's take a real quick look at the charts here. Ethereum finally finding a little bit of bid after bouncing all the way down to 1,070 freaking dollars. Stochastic RSI about to potentially flip uh, bullish here as at the bottom of the range. However, I'd like to just point out here 
that back in, when was this? Back in June, June. So we had this crossover on the stochastic RSI, right? Followed by a further 20% price dip afterwards. So just keep in mind that initial sell-off can still see further sell-off come in. And although those have been some pretty brutal candles, we are still not necessarily in a situation where we can just go, well, everything's okay in the markets now. No, we've had a big sell-off today, but we still have a lot of uncertainty in the market. So again, just be careful. Taking a quick look here at Bitcoin, the RSI got into the oversold territory today, all the way down to 24. Now, historically, buying Bitcoin when it reaches an oversold reading has been a good time to add to your positions. I actually got buy orders triggered at... Um, $16,000, $17,000, and $18,000 today. I had those orders layered in down. All of them hit. Yay, I guess. That's pretty cool. I'll, I'll take the Bitcoin. Why the heck not? But an incredible, incredible day here. 27% down in the last five days for Bitcoin. A lot of that price action happening just in the last 24 hours. A 16% daily candle from top to the bottom of the trough here. So absolute crazy price action. These are the kinds of days that you see in the market every once in a blue moon. Very rare market event that we see, are seeing right now. This is a black swan that is happening with FTX, the collapse of this major cryptocurrency exchange. This is something that was almost no one predicted, right? Almost no one could have predicted this, but it's happened and it's had an incredible impact on the market. Huge amounts of fear, huge amounts of money stuck, you know, just Honestly, if you're new to crypto, if you came in in 2021 or sometime in 2022, you have got the ultimate trial by fire here. You've had to survive the Luna collapse, the lender collapse with Celsius and Voyager and Hodlnot and others going down. Now you have to survive this. And of course, all the asset price is just tanking by 70, 90%. It's been absolutely crazy, man. So if you're still here, if you're still interested in crypto, like just, you know, it's going to get better at some point. Things aren't always this messed up. <laughs> anyway, that's all for me for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now. See you next time.